Today we are talking about mini bags and we're talking how best to pack them. And these are just some of the tips and tricks that I've used in my personal life that I've learnt over the years of having many uh, designer mini bags in my collection. Hopefully these will be helpful to you, some of which you'll know, some of which seem common sense, but I've learned over time that it's not always the case. So I have a couple in front of me that you may have seen before. So this one being the Prada Kahir bag, which is very, very small. It's almost like a wallet on chain. And I've got the Chanel mini here, which is a bit bigger than the usual mini type of bag. And I guess what I mean by mini is probably ones that are used for nights out, evening events, things that could also be classed as wallet and chains, clutches, that sort of thing. So roughly this size. And you know, we don't always have the benefit of being able to go out with a massive bag like this Chanel Coca handle, for example. You know, it's not always the most appropriate thing to have for an event or you want to be light on your feet and you don't want to carry something so heavy and bulky. And I've got many of these types of bags in my collection. I probably thought a lot less practically than I do now in terms of sizing and occasions that I would wear these bags. But I've learned to be nimble and I've learned to be clever with what I pack in them. So I thought I'd share some of those tips with you. And I have three main tips of which they have kind of sub bullets within them. And I've got examples of things to show you. So hopefully this is useful and it's not preaching to the choir, but it's definitely stuff that I wish I knew up front. So the first reason is gonna be something that sounds pretty obvious for some, but to me, I had to learn it the hard way because I was definitely considering vanity over function with these bags when I'd be using them to go out. And that is pack the essentials for your trip. So basically what that means is working out the occasion that you're going to go with. So are you going to a friend's? Are you going to dinner? Are you going out afterwards? Are you going to be likely to stay over? Are you going to be hungry? Will you be eating? All of those considerations, which has made me definitely plan a lot more in advance when it comes to packing or even picking my bags. And so often I'd find myself reaching for this one for a night out occasion. Um, but something that's a little bit more transitioning from day to night. So let's say I'm going out in the day, but I might meet friends in the evening and it's summer. I might pick this one because it has, it's definitely a little bit bigger. It's got some pockets in as well. Um, and the closure is really, really easy compared to this one. So knowing your event and knowing your bag and its limitations is going to be really helpful there. Once you've figured out your occasion, it's time to pack the essentials. And I think the essentials will largely stay the same. So those being probably your phone, your keys, your wallet, or some cash of some sort. You could do contactless if you don't want to bring that. And those three things you could fit in any bag. You could probably fit them in your pocket. You might not even need a bag. And then, you know, you can grow the list based on the occasion that you're going for with this bag and how much space there is inside and making sure that you cover yourself in the event that let's say you the venue you're going at doesn't have cables or anything to charge your phone and your phone always runs out of battery definitely make sure that you bring a battery pack or if there's a chance that there'll be several hours before you go and eat and you'll be hungry definitely bring a little snack as well and even things like bringing extra lady products just in case something happens or maybe a friend they might need it you never know i've learned the hard way to uh remember to bring those types of things and also things like plasters or safety pins they've saved me countless times and i would personally count them as emergency or essential items that i just stuff in my wallet and obviously they don't take up much space at all. And I make little pouches for each of my key bags that I go to just so that they're always with me because there's been so many times where a button's popped or a seam's come, up, come undone. And you know, those types of things, you just wanna avoid any awkward moments in public as much as possible. So those I would always say pack as essential. So point number two now, and it is probably more applicable to your more non-essential items than your essential items, but it's downsize where you can or use miniatures. And I know this sounds really obvious, but it's it surprised me even the amount of tat that I'd bring along that I didn't actually need, but I didn't think further along enough in the thought process to think to actually just downsize instead of bringing a whole thing. So I have a few examples here to show you. So number one, we have battery packs. 
And this battery pack is an anchor battery pack. It's kind of heavy and it charges two USB ports. So it could charge two devices. And if you have one of those um, cable splitters, you could probably charge multiple at the same time. Really good, really long lasting battery life here. And I bring this in most of my everyday types of bags because I have the space, but it's really heavy for a mini bag. It takes up a bunch of space. I don't even think, for example, with my Prada bag that I would even be able to fit it in properly like it takes up basically all of the bag if you're only going out for the evening and you've managed to fit your three essential items your phone your keys your wallet in there and then you want to put a battery pack in and it fits by all means go ahead but if there's other stuff that you need to bring then one of the ways that I found that I could save a lot more hassle and space in my bags was to get a smaller one so this one is almost like a credit card sized battery pack I didn't even know these existed until I actually got this as a Christmas gift. And it's so clever because the USB port thing just sort of pops out and then you just jig a little uh, USB cable in it and it charges just fine. Obviously, there's a big difference in the amount of charge that you'll get from either of these. This one being obviously less. But if you're just going out for the evening and you know you're gonna come back and you're not staying out for ages and you're probably assuming you've got a charge phone already before you leave, then this is gonna do the trick. And in comparison then, this doesn't even make a dent in the space in this Prada bag. And even on the Chanel Mini, you could just slide it in the back and it's the same size as an Oyster card or a credit card. So this is a brilliant way to maximize on your space. Another way is if you use miniatures for other key beauty items, that being things like hand washes, hand sanitizers. So this is a full size one. Obviously I'd bring this one maybe for trips abroad or something, just a big one, but you could always decant it into a smaller container. I know you can buy some of these at your local uh, drugstore, pharmacist, you know, normal grocery stores i'm sure will have those uh, small travel containers which are like 50 mils or 100 mils this one i managed to actually buy as a 50 mil and this fits wonderfully in all of my bags same goes for perfumes so i hope none of you do this with your mini bags but definitely don't bring a big size use a small size sample that you can get from most um perfume shops or i'm sure even at the airport or other designer stores that they give it to you as a little freebie and you know these are what like five milliliters or probably even less and you know you're not going to be perfuming yourself that heavily throughout the night to warrant you bringing a bigger one and then other things such as hand creams and other makeup items this is just one of the small ones that i got from one of the um airlines on their in their travel kits this is a L'Occitane skin cream and I just use that to put it in my handbag and that's a multi-purpose hand cream body cream you know it does it all and it does the trick for the amount of time that I'm going to be staying out and then even with food like I previously mentioned you could definitely bring smaller items so for example mints which I'm counting as food because sometimes you just need a little something you know, bring the small tins. You could also bring things like prepackaged nuts. So these ones are the ones that I got from my parents. They've got this clearly from China or something. And it's a really flat pack uh, of nuts there. I'm sure you could replace this item with many others that are packaged small. Or you could package it yourself and put it in a little bag so that you know if you feel hungry quite often and you're likely to not eat during your excursion out, then definitely always bring food. So those I think would be largely relevant for your non-essential items that you're bringing in your bag. But actually upon reflection, I feel like even your essentials, your bare essentials, like your phone wallet keys, some of that you could probably downsize too. So obviously the phone, you probably couldn't, but things like your keys, you definitely don't need to bring your whole key holder like I've got here. You could definitely just bring one or two or you know, just your essential keys and slot them in one of the pockets in your bags. And that would save a lot of space and jangling around. Then wallet, you could definitely swap it out for a card holder like I've done throughout the last few years. So this is my Chanel wallet. It's in the beautiful iridescent. And to be honest, I'm a little bit gutted that I don't use this one more often, but I do find that 
it's a lot more dressier and it definitely does take up a lot more room because it carries so many cards, which I love so much, but it's not always the most practical wallet to bring, especially when it comes to mini bags, because if I just bring out this Chanel mini as an example, this wallet takes up the whole thing inside, which is crazy and it's not a great use of space. Whereas compared to my big Chanel poker handle, when you pop this in here, it has ooh, so much space, so much space that it fell out, but it's got loads of other things in there and it doesn't make a dent in it at all. Whereas if I was to bring a card holder and pop it in my Chanel mini, I could even squish it in the back. Doesn't make even a drop in the ocean. And similarly for my Prada bag, which is even smaller, so much space still left over. So you can definitely downsize even your most essential items. And now onto my final tip, which is number three. And it's probably one of the more um, subject to interpretation tips <laughs> out of them all. And it's to be creative. And what I mean by that is being creative, not just in what you bring, but how you bring it. Because I know I've just talked about you know, stripping it down to your bare essentials and bringing miniatures and only bringing what you need for that occasion for that time. But of course, we want to be able to cover ourselves with some more nicer to have items just in case that rare, rare occasion where we need it comes up. I know we've all been there. For example, you could be very creative with how you bring other items with the clothing that you're wearing. So Let's say you're not going somewhere super formal, super fancy. If you're wearing jeans or you have a coat on you or you have items of clothing with pockets or even there's further storage in one of the restaurants or something that you could store other items, could you possibly put some of your belongings in your pockets? And you know, if you're going with other people who have a bigger bag or have other pockets that you don't have, let's say you're wearing a dress, but you're gonna be with the same person all night, could you possibly put things like your phone or your keys or other items that you don't really uh, need on your person with them? That's another way. It's not the most practical way, but I've done it before. I'm sure we've all been there before. Or, you know, if you have, for example, a really long chain that you're gonna be wearing crossbody and you wanna to listen to music, say, and you've got big headphones, like my ones here, which I will always bring with me. I will never downsize them because I don't have earbuds and I prefer the sound quality much better. Then, you know, could you be creative in how you bring it by hanging it on your bag if you're having it cross body? And then if all else fails, a final example would be to bring a carrier bag or a cloth bag. Mine is in this cute little strawberry here. I don't even think it was expensive. You can get these on eBay or Amazon, I'm sure. And it's a really nice, cute, practical carrier bag that you can just pop in even your smallest of bags. And these will fit in the smallest bags like this one here. And I know it might seem counterintuitive to bring a mini bag, but sometimes just having a bag there, just in case of any emergencies, let's say you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy something, but you didn't really anticipate it, then you always have those things handy and it's just about thinking creatively really and planning ahead and just to round off the video i will actually just pack what i will usually bring in my chanel mini so first thing is a phone i'm using my usual phone to record the audio so i'll use this other phone my work phone and pop in there bring a pack of mints wallet so basically a card holder i also have in here some lady products which i don't think i need to show you but they're in there just one of each uh battery pack also bring a cable so i usually have a shorter cable than this but i'm using it at the moment so i'll bring this cable it's probably the same size bring a hand wash bring my keys my key pouch and then a powder compact and I'd probably put like an Oyster card or something at the back. And this is already full to the brim. I didn't feel the need to bring things like hand creams or, you know, more makeup because usually uh, the most that I would do is like a liquid lipstick and a compact. So obviously with it being quarantine time, I might also put some isopropyl wipes in the back. 
This is probably the most I would bring and I think it covers me in all bases. But usually I would even have my phone on me or in my pocket. I wear a lot of trousers, so for me the phone could probably come out and the key holder is usually in my coat if I'm wearing one, so I probably wouldn't need to bring that. But on the whole, I would say if I was just going out out in the evening, assuming everything is all in order in current affairs by that point, I would probably only need to bring these few select items. So that's the end of the video. Let me know if there's any other tips that you'd recommend in the comments below. Sharing is caring, so I'd love to know how you guys pack your mini bags, and I will see you in my next video.